Hey there, it's What's Cooking, and today, oh my gosh, I do have to say that that, um, that Alfredo was amazing last night, wasn't it? That was really oh, good, yeah. Oh, oh. I've that never made it. turned out better than, way better oh, than, it was so I mean, good. I expected it to be good, but it was it, really, really, I mean, good. just because I made it doesn't mean that it was good, it was just, no, it, it just turned out just good, good. it just turned out really good. So something exciting happened today, and our friend Kalala, who lives in Florida, her candles arrived. And this one happens to be Lemon, and the name of her business is More Than Candles. And you can order, and they can be shipped. So I've been dying to light this and have this in the kitchen. Oh. She has a little light thing that comes with oh, it, yeah. too. Oh, yeah. It's that. so cool. It has like a little wooden spatula. I've never seen this with a candle. This is very classy. And I believe it's to kind of fix the wax, right? Well, it's still hot after you blow it out. You yeah. want to smell? Yeah. Very, very good. Isn't that yummy? It smells like limoncello. It does. Speaking of which, we've got a lot of limoncello in a bottle. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that right there. Super stoked. So the house smells really yummy because there's a bunch of onions sauteing as we speak and garlic. Um, and I roasted two heads of cauliflower. So our neighbor Jan, she had cauliflower and she asked if. Um, I wanted one and I said, oh my goodness, I'll make cauliflower soup because I've never made it before, so why not try? So I washed it all up and I put it on two cookie sheets actually, um, two ovens and I roasted it at 425 for about 40 minutes and I turned it every now and again and I also put olive oil, salt, pepper, and um, paprika. So that's why it's got that nice rich color. So to that, I've got sauteed up with it and garlic in the pan, and I'm going to add the um, cauliflower, and I'm gonna let it cook up, and then I'm going to add some chicken stock, but you could do vegetable stock. Oh, and a stick of butter, because we like it fat, and some cream cheese, because we really like it fat, and some cheddar cheese, so it's gonna be like a really gooey, cheddary, yummy, um, Cauliflower soup. soup. <laughs> I've made so many soups, I'm what, starting to forget my repertoire. Did you say what you do with the pear? Oh, okay. So, hang on. So, I got the onion. Remember, don't remove the root. If you don't remove the root, you won't cry. This trusty, dusty little doodad is very, very cool, just like to slice up the onions. So, I'm going to slice up a few more, and I won't even cry. So, that's pretty cool. Philip Fredrickson, did you go on a hike today? I did. And what did you see? Um, all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah, like what? You uh, saw like a some crazy big beautiful snake. Flowers yeah, and... <laughs> saw a snake. A How big was it? About four and a half, five foot. Uh, oh my West, god! Western Diamondback. A five foot snake. I would lose my mind. Well, you Ice just stay more than two and a half feet away. They can only strike Ooh. half the distance of their body. And oh. he was crawling across the road. He couldn't strike that far. I'd have to stick my knee in front of his face. Yuck. And it was so funny because when he got home, he showed me the video. And I, he's like, oh, look. Look at this snake. I'm like, no, I don't want to see. He goes, everybody thinks snakes are cool. I doubt everybody's. Well, you didn't I, say everybody. I did. I, I think everybody thinks they're cool, but that doesn't mean they want to be near one. They're not cool at all. A lot of people are afraid they're of them, gross. but they're still cool. It's a, an amazing Kalala, I see you. We got the nature. candles. They're so beautiful. And we are telling them all about this little wooden spatula. Maybe you could type in and tell us what this, I think it's to kind of keep the wax formed, but super beautiful and very, very fragrant. Okay, so we've got the cauliflower, cheddar, creamy, yummy soup that we're making. And then um, we have lettuce from the garden. Oh my God, I grew this. This is crazy. I can't believe that I'm a farmer and I grew this. It's awesome. And pears. So we're gonna slice pears, and weirdly, I'm putting jalapeno with it. I'm, I know it sounds strange, but I'm doing it. And some burrata cheese, which I love. And then just kind of like this really refreshing salad with some fig balsamic um, vinaigrette and a little bit of balsamic reduction. I'm gonna do That's both. That's gonna be good. Right? That'll be good. Doesn't yeah. that sound good? Yeah, it does. And then some And I'm pepper. with you on the pear and the pepper. You like it? Yeah. I think it'll, it'll be, be good. Good combination. And I love pears. Oh my goodness, I love them. So we're going to thinly slice them. And this is awesome. I'm using my, uh, my Cutco cheese knife to do it. 
But look at how paper thin you can get it. I'm getting better at my slicing. Don't you think? It's getting better. Um, and then I have fresh mint, which is in my iced tea from the garden. And I think I might, I might dice it up and throw it on the pears and the lettuce. What do you think, Philip? I think it sounds good. Okay. So um, what else is happening? We have um, a new listing in Oceanside in a 55 plus community that is finally, really cool. finally, finally, finally getting all the work done. So we have a scent um, construction that does all these remodels for us if, um, you know, works with our client and uh, they're general contractors. So that's cool. And then we also are going to have it staged um, by our scent um, staging company. So that's really cool. We could even live there if we brought in a roommate who's up to 55. I don't know when he's talking about because <laughs> I'm 39. Well, you have to bring in a roommate who is over 55. I'm going to beat you with a stick, <laughs> Philip Frederick said. It's a cool community though. It's and really then, nice. And then something else really cool happened today. Um, if you live in San Diego or not, I think you could vote even if you don't. Um, so a bunch of our restaurants got voted um, from the Union Tribune today. Uh, so we've got um, Piazza 1909 got voted. Um, nominated. 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 Wrench and Rodent got nominated for Best Sushi. The Plot got nominated for the Best Vegan and the Best Vegetarian. And the Wet Noodle got nominated for the Best Noodles. Um, noodles. And one of our work associates, who I love, Darren Schneider, got um, nominated as Realtor of the Year. Woohoo! Woohoo! Darren. So, um, you know, we are not in competition with anybody that we work with, and I am just giving him super, super big props, and I want everybody to vote. We can vote every single day until June 9th. So here's to Darren um, getting that nomination, and also Coldwell Banker, Cheers, Darren. Coldwell Banker West got, oh, there it's it is. water and iced tea, but what the heck. Um, Coldwell Banker West Commercial got nominated as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's something that happens here um, in San Diego, and we just like to give shouts out to all of our peeps. On Thursday, Sandra Viem, who owns Mariposa, it's a design. She comes in your closet and like redoes your closet and has you shop from the stuff you already own. And God knows we're all shopping from our closets right now and putting together casual clothes and comfortable clothes to wear. Um, she and I are going to do an Instagram live on my Instagram at 11 on Thursday. And then Johnny Tarr, who's a musician, he's from Wales, lives in San Diego, married with a little baby. He is, and he does shows like three times a week. He has one tomorrow at 2 p.m. Um, Friday, we're going to do an Instagram live at 5.30 on my Instagram just to kind of chat with him and see how he's doing. So that's kind of all the stuff we're up to, right? Pretty much. We got real estate going. We got chickens happening in the backyard. We got Mackenzie happening, who's lizard chasing like there's no tomorrow because it's nice and warm out and she can't wait to go outside. And I saw a lizard in the garage today. Oh my God, she would have died. I died. I was like, oh my God, there's a gecko in here. She would have flipped out. Um, that gecko wouldn't have stand, stood a chance. Oh, a lizard this long on the trail today. Oh, over a foot. Over a foot. Alligator lizard. Ugh, not my vibe. So, Kevin Holst said we should make boots out of the snake for, or a belt for you or boots for me. Oh, yeah. Is that Kevin <laughs> from uh, New Zealand? Yeah, Calvin. Oh, or Calvin? Uh -huh. Calvin? Calvin, boots. How are you, by the way? New Zealand, our foreign exchange student when I was a senior in high school and lives in um, New Zealand and has two beautiful daughters or twins. Came to visit us. Did you hear Calvin? Wrench and wrote it, voted uh, nominated for best sushi. So we gotta um, definitely give them some love. All right, I'm gonna throw this cauliflower in the pot here. Okay. It's uh, a little cooler out today, huh? In San Diego at least, but sunny. Yeah. But it's 72 or three here today. Yeah. Not bad. Might be too cold to eat outside, though. No. Yes. And then tomorrow we celebrate our real, our real anniversary, like the real seven-year anniversary seven. of when we actually got together. And now it sounds like I'm cooking for it. <laughs> we had something really cool planned that kind of fell through at the last Aww. minute today. This really good chef was gonna come make us all dinner, and 
Well, so many of our chefs are up on, uh, well, nobody's allowed to come and make dinner, but um, so many of our chefs are off, you know, on Tuesdays. So I always foil line my cookie sheets. I'm sure everybody else does too. Um, it just helps. And then, um, so cauliflower and a stick of butter have been added. And I'm just going to stir this up and kind of get the bits of the brown onion out of there. And then, you know I'm going to use my trusty dusty immersion blender? Emulsion? It's immersion. Good. Immersion, immersion blender. Immersion. Yeah. So I'm going to add a little pepper. I already put salt and pepper on it earlier when it roasted, so I don't want to do too much to that. And uh, it's not like we have to cook the cauliflower because it's already cooked, roasted. And the roasting actually gives it a good caramelized um, consistency and color. How's everybody doing? I mean, it's been like, I think Mondays are hard for me. Monday's like the hardest day of the week. It's like we start all over and you know, by Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I am Zooming. Not literally, yeah, literally I'm on Zoom meetings all day long. But what I mean is like, I'm like, I'm charged and ready to go. Today, Mondays, every single one of these Mondays have been a challenge. Um, just sort of like it's Groundhog's Day again, it's a new week. Usually I love Mondays and I'm really stoked about um, the new week, but it's not that I'm not stoked about it, it's just more challenging. And then tomorrow would be my dad, Joe. Oh, Surfside Deli also was nominated as oh, that's right. Best Deli and Best Sub Sandwiches. That's right. Two different categories. Chef Billy Butter, who has been like the angel of feeding people in need, um, and our client, and we love him, and he's our part of our family. He's been nominated Surfside Deli, Best Deli, and Best, best Sub Sandwich. And Best Sub Sandwich. So please vote for these guys. Um, just everybody's doing good stuff, you know? So we want to help them and support them. And ouch, this handle's hot. Um, and I'm stirring. I should have taken it out of the pot. Owie, owie. Okay, I'm going to add the stock. And you can, like I said, vegetable or chicken, it doesn't matter. And I don't measure anything. I don't, I just dump it in. So it is what it is. I mean, I have to make enough for Philip and I and our neighbor Jan. So we love to do our little drop, drop at the door um, items. Plus, it's her cauliflower, so she deserves it. I think I'm only going to use one. Um, container though, because otherwise we're going to have a lot, don't you think? One container of the uh, yeah. stock? I don't think I should make a double batch. I think it'd be too much. So uh, we'll, we'll save this. Both cauliflowers, then. I already did. Two uh, cauliflowers. Uh, yeah, I think it'll it'll be good. It'll be good. You can always add more. No, no you can't. Not after, I, nah, it won't be as good. All right, everybody. Well, we're just touching base, making sure everybody's doing well. Um, we want you to stay physically distant still while staying socially connected. Any um, updates on what might open this week? No, nothing new yet. Huh, okay. Usually they do that on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. Okay, I see Ann Price. Hi, Ann and Mark. Um, we'll have to get those chicky chews out and do a video with the chickens. They won't come in the house, trust me, but uh, they definitely will be outside. And I'm growing cabbage. The snails are getting the best of the cabbage, but I'm breaking off the leaves and giving it to the chickens every morning with snails on it. So they're getting escargot and cabbage. It's kind of a gourmet breakfast for them. Protein and salad. Right? Exactly. So um, crema cauliflower cheesy soup, um, pear, jalapeno, uh, buffalo, no, uh, burrata, burrata with like a balsamic and fig reduction. So that's what's cooking here. Hopefully you guys are going to have a great dinner, great night. Um, please make sure to reach out to somebody that might be lonely. Um, help them out. Give them a call. Really. Oh, tomorrow is my BFF and my brother, even though he's not from the same parents. Um, Paul Thiel, I call him PT. It's his birthday. Today. Oh, it's today. It's today. It's today. today. That's Paul's right. That's today. right. Today's the 11th. So happy birthday, Paul. Um, Philip and I could sing to you. We really could. Come here, sing. Let's, nah. Oh, come on. We do it all the time for everybody. All right, I'll, I'll, I won't sing. No, come on. We'll just sing together. Come on, Philip, come and sing. Come on. 
taking his glasses off. All right, we're going to sing Happy Birthday to PT, and I think everybody should join in. Ready? Okay. Happy birthday to you. We suck at this. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Paul. Happy birthday to you. Okay, that was mortifying, but we love him. Happy birthday to you, and we miss you. And tomorrow will be my dad's birthday and my little boy, Hunty, who's a Hunter Bear, my little doggy's birthday. He would have been 21, Hunter. And my dad would be 101. Crazy. See ya.